I'm Louise and I'm here with my friend Lucy. She's a food writer, a master baker and a patisserie cook. And she's going to show me today how to use a bread machine, which I confess I have never used before. And we're going to make my favourite bread, which is a fruit loaf. I love to have fruit toast each morning with my cup of tea. So Lucy is going to uh, teach us how to make the fruit loaf using the bread mix. Now why would we use the bread mix rather than just regular flour? Bread mix is easy because it all comes in one packet and all you need to add is water. Mm. You have a packet of bread mix, you have a packet of yeast, and then water you've got at home. Today, to make you happy, we've got some currants and some spice mix. All right, so let's begin. All right, so I've got my bread mix. Lovely. And I'm gonna add some spice mix and some currants. Great. And just give it a quick stir. It's gonna get mixed and kneaded, so. And the other important thing is to put the ingredients in the right order. Liquid first. Liquid first. I've got this milk and lukewarm water. Just right. Tap water, you know, warm tap water. And then I will add the flour. Right. There we go. And then we add the yeast. You don't want your yeast to be in contact with the water and the milk too thick. So. So what goes next? It just goes in here? Yep. Open Wonderful. Up you go. And then you just select your program. So, you're going straight on, so press start. Oh Lucy, it's wonderful seeing it do its work in there, it's great. So how long is it in there for? About three and a half hours. Oh, I love the little window we can watch. Now then we'll have bread at the end of three and a half hours. Ready to eat. It's wonderful. So, our bread has been in the bread machine for just under three and a half hours. And it's ready, can I lift the lid? I think you can. Oh wow! Can you smell the spices? Oh, mm, it smells good. delicious. Just be careful not to burn yourself because it is hot. And cut. There we go. Ooh. That is fantastic, Lucy. Well, that one machine can do all that. There it is. No. Ready to eat? No. No, no, no. You have to let it stand for about 10 minutes, not very long. Just to Are let the okay? steam escape. Yes. So our bread has now had a chance to cool for 10 minutes, it's ready to slice. You'll notice it's quite a small loaf, it's a very cute little shape. Mm -hmm. That's because we were using the, the basic smaller machine. If you have a bigger bread machine, obviously you'll have a bigger loaf. Well let's take a look inside. Oh look at that Lucy, mm -hmm. it's just perfect, Ooh, that texture that. is Light. perfect light and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. And the nice thing about home baked bread is you can have it as thick or as thinly sliced as you like. Everyone can have it just the way they like it. There you go. Cheers. Mm. Oh yum. Good, huh? It's really good. You can put it on at night time and you'll wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. Couldn't get better than that. No, but sure to get you out of bed. <laughs> sure to get you out of bed, that's right. Mm.